Perfect. You want to make me the host so I can screen share? Yeah, you, you got it. Hold on, hold on. Uh, you also have to allow recording, okay? And then I'll make you the host. host. How do I allow recording? All right, I, I'm doing it. So all it's right. fine. It's all yeah. yours. Yeah, it's yeah, better yeah. if you do it, bro, because then this thing gets in. You know. All right. You're ready to roll. Yeah, I just wait for more people to come in. Can you make an announcement? Yeah, I did. I did. Right, thanks. Do we have more people in or no? We have three participants. Yeah, you will. You should see when people start joining. Just admit yeah. them as you see it because you're the host now. So yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll mute myself if you need me. I'm here. All right. A okay, rule of thumbs um, in about, let's say, in a few minutes, if they don't, people will not start joining, you could start and then I'll post a video on YouTube. Okay, admit, there you go, Galaxy, yes, 20, perfect. <laughs> yeah, let everybody come in. Yeah, rule of thumbs, we'll give them like 10 minutes to join, so five, five minutes. Yeah, we still have some time. I'll give everybody like five minutes, two or three minutes. Okay, admit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Welcome everyone. We're just we're gonna start in a few minutes. We're gonna start in a few minutes. Admit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let people come in. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, thank you for the invite. Yeah, no problem, man. Come on in, come on in. Come How's your weekend guys going so far? Weekend is great, brother. I appreciate it, man, just working, you know? Yes, sir. All right, we'll just we'll wait a couple of more minutes and we'll start, you know. Let me know if you guys could talk to me because I want like to be a two-way conversation, you know? It's easier that way. Sounds great, hey. Okay, so this way I wanna like talk to you guys. I wanna I have like conversations so we can, we can, at least I know, or you can chat to me right here. I don't know, share screen, share screen. Can you guys see my screen or no? Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see, see it. All right, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. 
All right. Okay, so how do I get the chat thing going? Um, it's on top when you see view options. Um, it should be right on top. On your screen, you should be able to see uh, a chat right on the bottom. On the bottom, see? Right? Yep. Right yeah, on I the see screen. it. I see it right here. Yep, I see it. Yep. Perfect. I see it. Okay. Yep, I see it. All right. <clears throat> All right. We have another person coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll start in like two minutes, one minute. I don't know what is this doing. Let me start it on again. All right, can you guys hear me? Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah, or anything? Can you guys unmute? I don't know. Can you guys hear me? We good? Yeah. Yes. All right, bro. All right. So, so first things first, right? My name is Fuhad, right? And uh, you guys can reach out to me anytime you guys want. If you guys learn something that I don't know that I never discussed, if you want to teach me something, you're more than welcome. I, you can reach out to me anytime you want. I am a price action trader. What I mean by price action trader is I don't like using RSI. I don't like using nothing other than what the candles are telling me. I follow the candlesticks patterns. And this is the only thing that I use in my trading is VWAP. Now, this line right here is VWAP. The reason I like VWAP, right? Because in my trading, I'm trading against other people. What I mean by I'm trading against other people, I'm trading against hedge funds, professional traders, Robinhood traders, everybody and their mother. So what I need to do is this is a competition and I need to be either one step ahead of them or I need to see what they see. So VWAP, I don't want to get into the technical term. So when something is above VWAP, so VWAP is like your EMAs, moving averages, this and that. But the reason I like VWAP, when you go to different time frame, you can go to any time frame right here. The VWAP will remain constant. So this way, 90% of the traders, they use VWAP because when you change time frame, your EMAs are going to change, your 12, 34, whatever you use is going to change. However, VWAP will remain the same. So I use VWAP to see where the stock is at. So if the stock is above VWAP, which is your volume weighted average, that means the stock is bullish. When the stock is below VWAP, that means the stock is bearish. I am a short. So what does that mean is when, is, when I'm, I like shorting stocks. Now, for you to short stocks, you need like a special brokerage. What do I mean by short, right? So this is what I mean by short. Most people, when they see a stock, what they're doing, this is what most of you guys are doing. 90% of you guys are doing. You say, okay, I want to long the stock. Longing the stock means, all right, the stock is right here. 874, you're like, okay, if the stock is at 874, I'm going to buy here and I want the stock to go up and I'm going to sell. So this is exactly what you're doing. So you're like, okay, the stock is right here at 867. I'm going to press buy. When you press buy, you're in the stock for, let's just say, 100 shares. So you buy 100 shares right here at 860. 869 and the stock goes to 955 you're like damn i just made a hundred dollars on my 100 shares i'm going to get out of position and you just made a hundred dollars what i do is basically the inverse so instead of hitting buy right here what i do is i hit sell then when the stock goes down i make money it's the same thing as a put can you guys understand 
understand the concept? I want to know if you guys are with me on this. Can yes. somebody unmute and tell me if they're with me? They understand that concept? Okay. Yeah. So instead of hitting, so instead of hitting buy right here and hoping that this stock goes up, I hit sell right here and I hope that the stock is going down. In order for me to do that, I have special brokerage that allows me to get shares. So I borrow shares. So let's not go into like, oh, how does it happen? Why does it happen? All I'm focusing on is, okay, I ask my brokerage, hey, give me 100 shares of BNGO. Hey, we lost you there for a second. I thought that was just me. I think we lost them for a bit. Um, I don't know if it's the phone. Show it to you. Uh, I, I think some of us missed you in the in the conversation. What happened? Okay, so can you guys hear me now again or no? Yeah, we can hear you, but yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so you guys can hear me, right? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear yeah, me? Yes, I can hear you, but the gentleman that uh, Faid, I believe. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't think anybody can hear him right now. Okay, so, so you I, guys can uh, can you guys hear me and can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, so better, yeah. okay, so what I look for is basically, as I was saying before. I am a short, so I'm a short seller. So I want, so I enter when the stock is at the top of the price and I wait for it to go down. This is how I make my money. And just to rephrase, I use a brokerage like Trade Zero or Trade Station. They give me locates. What I mean by locates is, there it is. So what I mean by locates is, is that they allow me, they give me, I'm borrowing a hundred shares and I pay, I pay for that share and I wait for the price to go down. So I would enter as a short seller, I would enter when the price is all the way at the top and I want it to come back down. So how do I determine when it is a good entry? So this is what I look for. This is called the inverse hammer. So I'm going to draw it out for you. It doesn't matter what color it is. This is literally what I'm looking for right here. So when the price is at the top, this is what I'm looking for. And when the price is at the bottom, this is what I'm looking for. It's simple concept, it's not hard. So right here, so this is called a hammer. So before, I, let me explain to you what a hammer is. So this right here is called a wick. This is called a wick. So that means the price tried to go all the way down and buyers came in right here the buyers came in and they bought the price up. And on the inverse hammer, that means the price tried to go back up, sellers came in and they brought the price down. Is everybody with me or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an inverse hammer when the price is going all the way up. I'm looking for this inverse hammer to enter to short the stock. And when the price is, let's just say the price is all the way low, I'm looking for this a hammer to show up and I'm looking to go, uh, what do you call it, to go long. Now let's look at some charts. Now let's look at some charts. So when the price is all the way up, this is not a good one. Let's see, let's see. Let me clear all this out. Let me go. There's people trying to come in. How do I let them in? I don't know if I if I let them in. Let's remove all the drawings. Um, I think you could add, admit them on the list. Just look at participant list. I think we have ten people, so you gotta. I think let somebody else just try to come in. Okay, go on. All right. So this is this is the candle that I'm looking for. This is this is the candle that I'm looking for and expecting a reversal, a pullback. 
this is literally the candle that I'm looking for that's saying that, hey, there's sellers up here and I'm waiting for a pullback to short it. Uh, let's see, what did I short the other day? SDCN. I'm looking for clear signs to short it. The higher the wick, let's see, where did I trade it? There it is. I'm looking for clear signs. I'm looking for clear signs. I'm looking for wick. When the stock is going up, I'm looking for signs that is going to go down. So I'm looking for these wicks right here, this wick right here, these wicks right here to, hey, that I want to short the stocks. So I want to, since we're talking about price action, I want you guys to know that when it comes to penny stocks, the price moves in three. So you have the initial move up, it's going to give you a pullback, it's going to go back up again, it's going to give a pullback, then it's going to go up one more time, then it's going to crash. Same thing when the stock is going down. It's going to move in three. It's going to try to go, go down, try to go back up, go down, try to go back up, then go down. Same concept. So let's look at this. Let me just remove the drawing. Where is my drawing tool right here? Stock goes up, comes back down, stock goes up, comes back down, stock goes up, then it goes all the way down. Now, this is a sign that I'm looking for that there's sellers pressure. I'm looking for wicks. So I know that, hey, sellers are coming in. Then I look for an entry. So at the bottom, I'm looking for, I'm looking for buyers to come in to show themselves. Can you guys see this candle here? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I'm looking at when the buyers are showing themselves, when they are exposing themselves that, hey, they try to bring up the price. So when the stock gets extended, we want to see buyers coming in. Uh, where did I trade? P-O-L-A. Let's look at this. P-O-L-A. right here can you guys see this right here right here this is what i'm looking for this is what i'm looking for i want you guys to start seeing it when you're trading i want you you guys to start seeing signs of reversal so when a stock goes up parabolic like this that means there's going to be a pullback is it's a hundred percent there's going to be a pullback. So when something we want stocks to go up like this. If something is going straight up, there's going to be a pullback. And this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a parabolic move and I'm looking for exhaustions. Like sell, uh, buyers are getting tired, then I short. Once again, for you to short, you need to get locate. You need to have special brokerage like Trade Zero that you go borrow the shares from. Now let's analyze this chart right here and i'm going to show you everything that i see so this is a trade that i took once again when the stock is above vwap that means the stock is bullish when it's below vwap that means the stock is dying so before i take any trades this is what i look for right i look for pivots i want to know where there's buyers where's their sellers so i want you to guys understand i don't use i don't use rsi i don't use I don't use EMAs. I don't use anything. The only thing I use is my lines and my pivots. With penny stocks, when you guys trade penny stocks and you guys trying to make money, they have a mind of their own. Most of the time, they're not going to respect previous lines. You can draw your support and resistance to have an idea. This is not a penny stock. So let's look at OP, uh, OPTT. This is a penny stock. Uh, let's look at QTT. I actually traded QTT. So I'm trying to give you guys a better example. This is what I'm looking for. Stock goes up. One, two, down, three, reversal. Penny stocks. Uh, let's look at BBIG. I actually traded this. I want you guys to see it.
penny stocks. Stock goes up, pull back. Goes up one more time, pull back. Three. This is what I'm looking for. If the price goes straight up, this is what I'm looking for. When the price goes straight up, that means it cannot sustain itself. It has to come back down. Now let's go back into support and resistance. And we you have an idea, then I'm going to go to pre-market data and I'm going to go into trend lines. So before you take any trade, I want you guys to draw your support and resistance. How do you draw support and resistance? You go into a line chart. I'm using TradingView. What, what platform do you guys use? Do you guys want to tell me? Do you guys want to tell me what a platform you guys are using? COS. Uh, Robinhood. Robinhood, right? So Robinhood is not going to give you all this, but TOS is going to give you uh, how to draw lines and stuff. Actually, Robinhood does give you line charts, but I don't know if that has our drawing tools. So let me clear this out and let me draw my support and resistance. I'm going to go into the daily right here. I'm going to go into the daily. Let's remove view up. And I'm going to draw support and resistance right here. Somebody showed me how to do this right before this. There you go. I'm going to draw my support and resistance. When you're drawing support and resistance, look at this. On a line chart, you can see these pivots. You can see the pullbacks. So you're looking at prior, prior support and resistance. You're looking at prior, you know, prior downfalls. You're looking at prior, what do you call it? These mountain bottoms. That's what I'm going to call it. So when you look at it, you're seeing that, okay, previously, these are lines that it respected. On the daily, look right here. Let's go back. Can you, everybody see my screen or no? Yes. Okay, so you're drawing support and resistance. So look at this. I want you guys to look at this. I want you guys to look at this. Uh, let's see. I want you guys to look at this. See how he tries to, this is support. He tries to go down. It doesn't, it goes back up, but it doesn't crack this. So this is resistance. Tries to go back down, doesn't happen. Goes back up again. Finally, it free falls. So we're going to draw a line right here. We're going to draw a line right here. We're going to draw a line right there. So this is how you draw support and resistance. We're looking for, because we don't know what this stock is going to do today, but we want to have an idea. Same thing, support and resistance. We want to have an idea. Is it respecting it? Where is it going to give a pullback? So once we have it, we want an idea. Then you could always take it off. So let's see. Now we're going to go back. I trade on the three minutes. We're going to go back into a candlestick and we're going to see, hey, pre-market, what is this stock doing? And is it respecting? Oh, let me get rid of this. Market, what is this stock doing? And can we trade it today? I don't know. I'll just get rid of that. It doesn't matter. There it is. So this is something I want you guys to look at this. So pre-market. This is the pre-market data on BNGO on the 21st. So I'm going to get rid of these lines. Let's get rid of some of these lines. I want to see pre-market, what lines is it respecting? So we can see that pre-market is still respecting lines that we drew from six months ago to a year. Can you guys see this or no? Yeah. All right. So look, these lines that I have, these lines that I have, I drew this line and I don't know what the stock is going to do today because this is where I'm at. When I wake up in the morning, this is what I'm looking at. I have no idea what the stock is going to do today. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my pivots for today. So what do I mean by pivots? I'm not talking about using some Fibonacci, this and that. What I'm looking for is the most volume candle that I can identify and see. And I need to identify the pre-market high of the day. So how do I do that? If you look at this candle right here, this started the whole move. So I'm going to draw a pivot right here. I'm 
I'm going to draw another line right here, another pivot right here. Look at this. I'm going to draw another pivot right here. I'm going to draw another pivot right here. Look how big this candle is. And I'm going to draw one more line right here because this is the high of pre-market. And I'm going to change the color of this because I need to identify the high of pre-market. Now, if my previous support and resistance is near my pivots today, I know for a fact that this line is strong because we're day traders. I'm a day trader. So I want you guys to see something. Can you guys see this? Can you guys see this or no? Yes. Can you guys see this right here? I want you to see how this is respecting right here. It's respecting right here. Previous support and resistance that I got from months back is respecting. Look at right here. It rejected right into this line right here from prior resistance. Look at this. Look at this right here. This is previous lines that I had. Look at this. It rejected. So I know that, hey, mentally, when I come in to trade this stock, I am seeing what other people are seeing. And I know for a fact, okay, you know what? This is respecting my previous support and resistance. Now, how do I trade this? How do I long this and how do I short this? Remember when I told you I'm looking for wicks, the bigger the rejection, it gives me confidence to short it. Now, do I just short it right away? No, I'm looking for it to reject the same line once, multiple times. How do I long this? I'm looking for it to hold support and resistance. And I need confirmation that it's holding. So how do I know is giving you confirmation is holding. I want you guys to see something. It's called trend lines. So what did we do? We drew pivots. How did we draw pivots? We drew pivots. We're looking at the most volume candle on the three minute. Look how big this candle is. I threw a line over here. Look, it's rejected my prior, uh, prior line. Look how big this candle is. I threw a pivot right there. I also threw a line of pre-market high. Do you guys see it? Mm -hmm because I'm building information. I am literally building information because I need to know what this stock can do, where it's going to reject and what's going to happen. Now, when I come in in the morning, this is all I have. So how do I trade this in the morning? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw a trend line. If you saw any of my other webinars, you guys will know, I like, I'm drawing trend lines. How do you draw trend lines? So let's go into paint. Let's go into paint and I'm gonna show you guys how to draw a trend line. The stock is going to either go on an uptrend or downtrend. So when it's the stock is going on an uptrend, this is what we're looking for. We're going to draw a trend line. If it's on an uptrend, we're going to draw a trend line. We're going to be very patient and we're gonna wait for an entry signal. Now with the trend lines, after three times, most likely, the same thing with the price action is not going to be valid. So on an uptrend, what we're looking for is, uh, I always get this too confused. We're looking for a higher low. So if the trend started from here, this should be higher than this. 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 So we know that we are doing it on a trend. Same thing on a downtrend. We're looking for the price going down and we're looking for signs that is holding the trend line. We're looking for <clears throat> lower highs. So starts here. This should be lower than this. This should be lower than this. This should be lower than this. I'm going to give you guys the example when the live chart, I'm going to show you guys so you can see it. We're looking for confirmation. We're not just going to enter a trade blindly. We want multiple signs to show that, okay, it's ready for us to enter. Otherwise you're gambling. Do you guys understand or no? Are you guys there? Yeah, yeah, we understand. We're looking, we're looking for confirmation that, you know, what this thing is holding trend. So when I go into a chart, I'm gonna show you guys. So look at this trade right here. This, goes in, this is on a downtrend. I want you to see this right here. This started it, this is lower than this. This is lower than this. This is lower than this. This right here is lower than this. Can you guys see that or no? 
Can you guys see that yes. or no? All right. Now, what happens here? What happens here? Look at this right here. Right here, it breaks trend. Now, let's go back into the drawing board. When something breaks trend, this is, we don't just take a trend, we need confirmation. So let's go back into paint. We need confirmation that it is holding, it, it really broke trend. And how do we tell that? So let's say something is on a downtrend, like that stock is, is on a downtrend, it breaks trend. So right here, it broke trend. So what we want to see that since it broke trend, since it broke trend right here, we wanted to see it come back. We want to see it come back right on the trend line, but not crack it. So we wanted to see it come back, make higher lows and go back up again, either break, either break prior resistance or come back, make a higher low for us to enter and go back, go back up. So let's see what this stock did, right? So real life example Ooh. it broke trend we wanted to see this stock come back again. here test this line and so on this trade as it broke it gave us a pullback it gave us a pullback it made higher lows right here i mean sorry yeah yeah higher lows right here and it went back up so your entry position, if you bring in VWAP, so we want multiple confirmations. So let's bring in VWAP. This is why VWAP is so important. Look what it did. It was below VWAP. Over here, over here made, this is where the last pivot was. It went up, came back here, broke trend. This is higher lows right here, went up, gave you a pullback right into VWAP and the stock shot up. I did not long this, however, I shorted it. This is what, when I was looking at BNGO in the morning, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to come back here, right? Because this is support. I wanted to hold support and go back up. But guess what? I knew that it was consolidating, showing me that all right, this might go up, but what I did was, I know for a fact, and I say this on my trading, on my penny stock, that hardly this penny stocks will ever break $10. I will show you examples. After examples, these penny stocks do not break $10 because when they break $10, institutional shows up, algo show up and it just destroys the stock. So anybody that's trying to control this stock, retail money, they will not let this go above $10. So with that in mind, what I did was I had a fantasy order. What I mean by fantasy orders is this. I had a short order right here saying that, you know what, if this hits, I will go down with it. If the line breaks, if, if the high of the day breaks, I will go down with it. And I had a very tight stop loss. If you trade with me, if you take any of my trade, you will see I never take a trade without stop loss. Do you guys understand what a stop loss is or no? Uh, no, honestly, no. Yes. Stop loss is, is basically is your savior. So when you take a trade, you enter a trade, you say, okay, if the, let's just say you enter right here and you say, okay, if the stock goes below 466, which is right here, is going to automatically take me out of position. So if you enter at 485, if it goes below 468, it automatically takes you out of position. That means if it flushes down, you only lost little money instead of losing everything. You never take a trade without a stop loss. If you don't know what a stop loss is, is when you go into a position, is it it your your platform is going to give you a stop loss. If you don't know how to use it, then you don't know how to use your platform. You need to write down stop loss and research stop loss. And oh, okay. I thought you said you take stop. a trade is basically you're protecting your money. Gotcha. No, no, no. Stop loss. It's stop loss. Sorry. Yes, I use those. Uh -huh. those yeah. So you never take. Yeah, you never take a trade without a stop loss. 
So I had a fantasy order. That means I had an order already ready saying that if it cracks this, automatically is going to enter me at seven something right here. And I had a start, you know, just in case it decides to push back up, I had a tight stop loss. And guess what it did? The stock just flushed down. And I had confirmation. I had confirmation that the stock was going to do it because as soon as it started wicking out, it lost momentum right here. It started going to a range. Can you guys see this or no? Can you guys see the wicks? Can you guys see the wicks or no? Do you guys see it or no? Yes. yes. So look, so it came down and started wicking out. So I said, you know what? I felt confident. You know what? It's not trying to go back up again. It's not trying to break out of the range. And I said, you know what? I put in a fantasy order, right? So I said, you know what? It's not, it's trying, it's trying. It's not going up and it just shot back down. I got out right at view up because you know what? I throw a lot of shares. I get in and out. If you see any of my trades, I go in and out. I expected BNGO to go back up. So what I wanted for BNGO to go back up. So I drew a trend line right here. I drew a trend line right here. I said, okay, let's see if it breaks trend line. So right here, it broke, it went up. I wanted to make it a higher low. I mean, yeah, higher low right here and try to go back up again. The reason I did not long this stock right here because it never did that. However, it tried to hold this level, but I didn't like it because it didn't do what I wanted to do. I will never take a trade just out of, you know, because I want to get in. I will wait for the stock to do what I want it to do. If not, look, I have hundreds of other stocks right here that I can go in and I can go trade. Hundreds of other stocks right here that I can go in and I can go trade. So let's go to, let's go back to BIG. So I wish I kept my short position, but I never entered this. I want to go back into POLA. POLA, let's, whatever I showed you guys with trend lines and this and that, we're going to go into, we're going to put this into play right here. POLA, I gave a call to long it, right? Because I saw the pullback right here into VWAP and I gave a live call. I entered in one candle and I got out, but I left so much money on the table because you know what? I like to scalp. Was anybody with me that day? Did anybody see that call or no? Yeah, I saw it. All right, so let's, let's look at POLA. Let's look at POLA. So when I came in, I want you guys to get good at this, right? I want the same thing that I'm doing, pivots, trend lines. I want you guys to understand. I started drawing, when I came in in the morning, I'm looking at this, all right. Pre-market, it didn't do anything. It was dead. All of a sudden there's volume. Good question. Yes. Pivots only you can draw into the pre-market or you can draw- You could draw anywhere. You can draw anywhere. This, you can draw pivots. You can draw, draw anywhere. Pre-market, after-market, it doesn't matter. You can draw pivots. You can draw pivots. You see this right here? You can draw pivots. You're looking at the most volume candles and you're like, okay, I'm gonna draw some pivots. So, and you're also looking at high of pre-market. You're also looking at low of pre-market because I trade penny stocks and these penny stocks, six in the morning, some bullshit news comes out. They're all garbage of the earth. Some bullshit news comes out and they go flying. Look at QTT. I traded QTT. Some bullshit news comes out. They're all garbage of the earth. Some bullshit news comes out and they all, they all go down. So since you asked that question, I'm going to show you this right here. Same thing, same concept right here. Same concept. I have my view up. This is right here. This is pre-market high. Am I correct? Yeah. Pre-market high. Let's find other volume candle right here. Big volume candle right here. Come back, I see, I see some, some resistance right here. So I draw this. What else? Come back. Right here, I want you guys to see this. This is when I, this is like double bottoms, double tops, this and that. So pre-market, 
it was holding this line. So in the morning when the stock opened, it was holding this line. It was holding this. Mm. It makes a higher low right here. Then it reclaims the VWAP. Look at the way it reclaims the VWAP. It reclaims the VWAP with the volume. Do you guys see that? It gives you a right. pullback. It goes up, gives you another pullback. Then it starts dying. And look at the way it starts dying. This is literally what I told you guys earlier. This is what I trade. I want the stock to do what I want it to do. Look at this. Look at this rejection right here. This is the pin bar. Now I try to I try to short the stock. I try to short the stock right here. I, I made money, but I didn't get out of position. Then you know what? I took it for a wild ride and I got out of position right here. I, I lost $400 right here because you know what? I didn't have my stop loss and I had to go out and I just walked away from my desk and it just took me for a wild ride. But once I re-attacked this stock, I made, made money. I want you guys to see this right here. This is literally what I keep telling you guys. This is what I look for. Stock goes down. This is called an inverse hammer. So if you're longing this stock, when you see this, you get out. Now look what this stock did. Look where it pulled back into. Look where it pulled back into. Do you guys see the morning, the pre-market high? Do you guys see it or no? Do you guys see it? Yeah. Look what it did right here. It pulled back right into the morning pre-market high when it broke it. It gave a pullback, then it went up before it started going down again. Now, once again, Look at, look at this. This is what I mean. I'm going to draw more pivots right here. Another pivot. This is because look how big this candle is. Pivot right here. And I'm going to get one high of the day. High of the day right here. I'm going to throw one more in here. Now, this is how you guys spot reversals that this is going to do it. So once again, trend lines. If you guys learn anything here today, trend lines. Look what it does. Right here is on a downtrend. It breaks trend, goes up. So right here, low, it breaks trend, comes back right into VWAP. This is what I want you guys to start seeing why VWAP is so important if you're going to long stock. VWAP comes back right into VWAP and it holds. What else do I have over here by VWAP? I have pre-market high. So how many confirmation do I have? I have two different confirmation right here. I have uh, higher lows right here from here, higher lows right here. I have VWAP and I have pre-market. So I have three. I have pre-market high right here and the stock goes back up pulls back, goes back up, and it rejects where? Same pivot that I drew right here because this was the high of the day, and guess what happens? It rejects, comes all the way back down. Do you guys see that or no? Why do you think I draw these pivots? You know, I, I have a question. Can anybody answer me? Well, I think yes. um, I think the reason why you draw these pivots is because it helps you see the historical and yes. what what you should or shouldn't do. Well, how to say it? That's just. Uh, I, I, I want guess my answer is the child. Like, I want yeah. confirmation. I want confirmation saying this stock is respecting something because I'm a day trader. I don't just go in and I don't take wild trades if you ever seen if you think i make money out of thin air no i i wait for confirmation all right so go ahead i saw somebody's asking me questions um, oh yes now uh those those pivot lines that you're drawing yes now do you only draw those pivot line on the three minute chart because you trade the three minute chart or would it be okay to draw it on like let's say a 15 minute chart and trade it on a three minute chart if you're going to trade on the three minute chart draw them on the three minute chart Okay, okay. Okay, because you, 
if you're new, you should be, first thing you should do is go back into the daily, right? You should go back into the daily and draw your support and resistance. All right, so where are we this day? So your first things first, you're going to do, you're going to go into the daily, you're going to go into a line chart, you're going to train your brain into doing this. You're going to go back into a line chart and you're going to draw your support and resistance. Do you understand? So let's do yes. it. Let's do it together. Let's start here. Look, right here, throw one. Right here, pointy. Right here. Look how you see how this line touches this line? That is good. One more right here. Look, they touch. I'll throw one right here. I'll throw one right there. I'll throw one right here. You see how they touch? Yep. You're just taking quick glimpse. So you're saying that, all right, you want some sort of ideas. You don't have to go crazy. You want some sort of ideas where the price is rejecting. You want some sort of sort of idea where the price is rejecting you want some sort of ideas where the price is rejecting i have a question yes so well first of all i just want to thank you for uh, for, the, for your time and explanation of all these uh charts and uh lines trends whatnot. so i'm not a day trader so my yep. biggest uh i guess my biggest a request for help is okay well during the day i'm able to check my phone while i'm at work right yeah. and check to see what all the alerts are so it's just simply impossible okay. for me and maybe so not for a lot of people to uh to draw lines but that that's where yeah. um, i would fall onto how to say it, so are you a day trader or are you talking about swing trading uh well for me if i have time during, during during the busy day work, sure, uh, I can I can do it. Uh, well, I, d I don't have the twenty five thousand dollars to do full okay. day trades. However, I have a cash account. Okay. We bull and uh, TD Ameritrade. Okay. I do have Robinhood, unfortunately, and that's that's where my uh, big red bump is at. So, I guess what I'm asking is, when when I see the alerts, then we have assurance of some sort that that you already drew lines, you've tested the view view app and whatever all the other bells and whistles need, needed needed to come for that alert. Um, how many how many uh, stocks do you watch, let's say on a daily basis? That's the first question. The second question is, are we able to suggest a stock? Like for example, I've had really awesome luck with a Corsair CRSR so, and nope. um, and yep. uh, I, I have joined previous group, uh, but um, anyway, so, I had to read that. <laughs> so, so, so you, uh -huh. so from everything that I'm getting for you, right? You're a swing trader. Your the alerts that we send out, right, is not going to help you much. I'm being honest with you, right? Those are day trading alerts. What you need is to identify stocks that are moving. They're like 52 week high. You know what I mean? They're on an uptrend, these penny stocks, and that's what you need to capitalize on. Because these penny stocks alert, when we alert them on the day, right, is for basically day trading. And everything that, that alert for the day, the next day or the day after, they all go down. Do you understand? Yes, uh, I do I, I do that. Uh, so I guess in a way I, I would say I'm so, a day trader and, and a swing trader. Uh, I'm more of a swing trader. So but I do if, you, if you want to learn how to swing. Uh, let me let me jump in there for one second. Um, I don't know if you only do stocks. Yep. Go ahead. But most of our options are long. Um, with pennies, obviously, unless you're buying and holding it for longer term. But for options, we do day swing, months out. Take a look into um, if you're interested. But... With penny alerts, it's you know obviously pretty quick in and out, right? So if you're not around the computer, you know if you see the alerts, just observe. You know that's my best suggestion to you. Otherwise, you can end up losing money if you're not on top of it. But with well, I, I, 
I do set my stop loss. If you want to learn how to swing, God, I'm sorry, you broke up. I couldn't hear you. I do set my stop loss. Okay. So even if I miss an alert, I know I'm not going to, well, basically go bankrupt or at the so game. So what, what I need you to do right after this, right? I need you to message me, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow night or after that. What I can do is I can go over with you or, and I can record the session and I can show you how to swing penny stocks. Sounds great. And I can show you why you should swing it, their revenue. If they're on an uptrend, catalyst, short float, I can go into the fundamentals and then on your own, right? Because I don't want, whatever I'm doing right here is I'm teaching you guys how to fish. I don't want you guys to become reliable on somebody to give you a call because that's not how somebody learns, right? I don't want you guys to just blindly follow me. I want you guys to learn the process. So if you guys want, if you want, I can show you, I can do a class and I can record this and show you how you should swing penny stocks, finding them using FinBiz, going through their revenue, going through their fundamentals and saying, okay, this is a good stock to buy. If you want, I can do that. Yeah, please. And can you not please only really I appreciate that, I think I'll be interested. I'll be interested in that too. Yes. So that is what I understand that not everybody here is day trading, right? Not everybody's here doing this because this is more about day trading and fundamentals and using the penny alerts. If you guys want to swing, I'll be more than happy to do that. After this is over, maybe tonight I can walk, make a video, walk you guys through one-on-one or I just did a one-on-one prior to this, right? I think Kelvin is here, right? I just did a one-on-one yeah, with I'm Kelvin. Here. I can show you. Yes, right? So I just did a one-on-one with him prior to this where I can show you one-on-one -on -one and I can record it, how to swing these penny stocks. I can show you how to read their revenues. I can show you how to do, go through all of that and saying, all right, this is, looks like it's on a breakout. And on ILM, I do give call outs. Hey, this is about to break out, buy this. And you know what, we do make money holding position swinging. Right? You'll see it, I give, I see Say, hey, buy this. I'm still holding one and I just bought VIVE to swing. I also have INUV. I alerted for INUV when it was 67 cents. And the next day you went up to 180. To, and the day after they went up to 230. And I not only I give alert, I tell you why I'm buying it and why I'm doing it, if you guys want. Right? Would, would that help you? So when you give alert, you also give uh, what the enter and the exit price? Yes. That's what and I'm I show it. On. I show it on the chart. I also show it on the chart where it's holding because I need you to understand where you should enter, where you should exit. Because I just don't like saying, hey, enter here, exit there. That's not, this is not how I want to roll. You understand? Because I want to teach you how to fish. Once you learn the concept, once you learn the idea, once you understand it, then it's better that way. Don't you think? Absolutely. If, if I'm just telling you, hey, buy here, enter here, what good is that to you? That means you're, you're going to be reliable on me for the rest of your life. You understand? Do you want to be like that or no? Well, well that's not how I am. I, I, I'd rather I show partly, you. I'd rather show you. The, the way my, okay, my thought process is while I don't know everything right away, and I'm a slow learner, but I'm a learner. Yes. Um, my goal is to, well, join your group and learn as I go. So will yes. I be dependent? At least for some period of time, yes. But every but day when, when we do it. dependent 100%, let's say, a year down the road. That's what, that's what I want. I want, even though you're dependent now, I don't I want you to be dependent later. Can I Whatever, say something? I want you to learn off of me, learn off the guys that we have. Why do it? Yep, go ahead. So, you know, this this is the third class that I've been taking with him. Yep. And the first two, you know, it was so good. Like, you know, I previous I read books, I watched videos online. So, you know, I kind of got a concept on, you know, the movements, the candlesticks. 
but what you know being in conference with the last two calls he taught me you know how to do it live trade where you know last week was my first time really looking at you know the candlesticks and the movement that I was able to you know just play with two of them and I was able to get 100% return on both of them so so far like you know out of the two I tried I got 200% like these videos that he's teaching us it's 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 great I love it yeah, and uh, you can look on the YouTube too, like the videos he posts. Um, like if you rewatch it a couple of times, like at first it might be a little bit confusing. Like you said, if you're a learner and you're willing to put invest the time in like the material, like it gets easier and easier over time. Look, you're you're hearing live, right? I'm I'm doing this live with you guys, and these are I'm not paying anybody to do this, right? And I go one-on-one -on -one with people and I show them one-on-one. -on -one. This is what ILM is about. You understand? So I do give out swing trades ideas, but I also show you how to swing. I'm not just giving you calls. And once you understand why I call it, once you see it, once you start observing it, you learn for yourself. That's the best thing somebody can do for you in this. Once you learn, that, once you have an idea. Is that okay with you? You can take 15, 20 minutes extra and show us a swing right now? Like yeah, I can show you how to swing, right? Let's let's take this for example. And for, before before you go on, right? Um, we also have yeah. Should I start? Yeah, hello. Um, yeah. YouTube videos. I'll share the channel with you guys. Um, if you want to learn, look at long term. Um, exactly. There you go. AJ, uh, AZ, glad. I'll I'll share that with you guys. Right after the meeting is done, um, I'm gonna start doing more short-term videos. Um, on, on basic stuff, either you're looking at options or just want to learn, right? Um, I don't know how much of ILM stands for, you guys know, it's basically, you know, intellectual learning mechanism. We are here to teach you guys, not to depend on us for the rest of your life. It's just as you grow, you learn and you become a better trader with us, right? That's what ILM is kind of stands for. We teach, we do charts, um, we always here to answer your questions, you know, set us, set us up with one-on-ones, uh, myself, DT, AQ, we all here, we'll help you everything we know, you know, that's the whole, whole culture here it, as, as a organizer or as a, as a founder, that's what my core goal is. And, and I think we all support that within the team, right? We love to teach and, and we'll continue doing that. Alerting, um, yeah, no one is 100%. Um, learn why we are taking it. Either it's you know the trend we're looking at flow, obviously volumes, flow. If I look at options and whatnot, um, I will have question about trading. trading. But that will be also good if you want to learn. Just shoot me a message, anyone. DT, we could always chat. You know, gentlemen. Quick question about payment, yes. please. Uh, once I make one payment, is it recurring yeah, payment that they shall draw? Or can I prepare like, let's say six months, uh, like a month, six months, a year ahead? So Wait, what, what was the question again? You said prepayment well, or six months or a year? Well, right, because I saw like, let's say, uh, you know, the one week promotional price, which I don't really understand the point of $1 when, I mean, I know if I'm set to go with you guys, I can prepay, let's say like a month, six months, a year ahead, no problem. But, or do you, do you just do recurring payments once first payment is made? How, no, how so I am working on redoing the website a bit, but we do have um, yearly membership and then monthly, right? The reason why you see the dollar there only because you know a lot of spammer comes on board and they try to spam your you know server. <laughs> That's actually the main reason. It's not about- I, I figured that I do work in IT, so. <laughs> yeah, so that's the only reason we don't want any, you know, spammer just come in and, and you know, spam him at the um, server itself. But you see, we have monthly. Um, I think tomorrow or later on, you will see that early comes up too. So whatever suits your need, you could go about that, right? $1 is more from keeping the server secure and just to show people what we really about and and how, how our process works. That's basically it, but um, give it a day or two, you know, the annual program will come out, annual membership, and rest of the other stuff will come up as I redo some of the work on the on the website. So you'll see that. So I, I know, 
I know you guys want to learn how to swing, right? Let me wrap this up. And I promise you, you're going to get your money's worth in 10 minutes. I will show you how to swing any stocks. You got it? Please. So let me finish this set off and I'm going to show you how to swing. You're not going to learn everything yet, but you'll have an idea. And I'm going to take you where the money's at and how to do the research. Maybe I'm not going to show you 100% how to do the research right now. Let me just write this off. Give me another five, 10 minutes. Just learn whatever you can from here. And I'm going to show you how to swing stocks. Mm -hmm. Got it? Got it. All right. So now, so let's go back. So I'm doing the line. So I'm going to go back into my three minutes. And I'm going to go back into the candlesticks. And once again, I'm going to see if it's respecting any of my previous lines. So I want you to look at this right here. So I drew these lines and look what happened. The stock went right into my daily lines from prior and it rejected. So this gives you double confirmation. So when you draw your pivots, when you look for the biggest, this is the high of the day, then you look for the biggest candles like this and you do double. Voice is gone. No voice. I think he cut out again. Yeah, I think it's his internet that's kind of bumping off. Uh, and so like, okay. You connected. Hey, Fouad, you, you break an yes. order. I think it's your internet. Can you hear me now or no? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Because everything I do is I'm on a secure line right here. So once you draw your trend line, you're trying to connect two, two, uh, what do you call it? Two lines, two, like two candles together, pull back. Look, it pulls back right into the trend line, goes back up again, gives you another pullback right into the trend line and goes back up. It rejects. How does it reject? It rejects on a candle. Now, when I talk about, if you're trying to long this, this is what you're, I want you to look at. First things first, you're always going to have VWAP, trend line. You're drawing a downward trend line comes back up here, rejects, it breaks the trend line. It breaks the trend lines. It comes back, gives you a higher low, right into VWAP, right into where? The high of the day. Then you enter with your share and you go up. Got it? Any questions? Nope, good. Nope. All right, now. So I have people here that was with me on my first two or three webinars. This is what I'm trying to clear them out, right? Now, who wants to learn how to swing penny stocks? I'm going to show you. So this is something that I was looking at the other day. You're not going to learn everything about swinging penny stocks. This is a stock that I was looking actually yesterday or the day before. I don't know why he's doing this. 10x. Let's go back into the daily. Let me show you, let me get rid of some of this mess. Can you guys see this or no? Yeah. So let's just say I want to swing 10X. I want to see swing 10X. So what I'm seeing right here is 10X has been constantly going up, constantly going up. Can you guys see that or no? Mm -hmm. So 10X is constantly going up. See this right here, this candle right here? Right now, right now it is holding, it is holding. So I wanna learn more about this 10X company, right? First things first, I'm going to go to Finbiz. First things first, I'm going to go to Finbiz. You guys heard of Finbiz or no? Yes. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Finbiz. I'm going to go right here. Okay. They have short flow. That means this is how much shares they have out there for you to trade. So let's just say if I have $10 million, right? I can literally move 
this stock myself. So if this thing gets good press, is going to move. So first things first, I see, okay, short float. I mean, sorry, share. This is how much share it has. I know this is how many people are shorting this stock. This is how many people right now are short on this stock. So remember GME? We were talking about it. Did you guys see, did you guys hear about GME? Yes. Okay, so what happened with GME? Cintron came out and said, you know what? GME is gonna go down to $20. So what did people do? They squeezed all the shorts. So they're like, okay, we know a lot of people are going to, you know, a lot of people are going to come in and they're going to short this stock. So what they do, a lot of buyers came in and they squeezed it. So if a lot of buyers, this is only a 10 million float. If a lot of buyers come in, they're going to be able to squeeze this thing. So we don't care about that. We want to look at the internals. So I see, okay, if this thing holds 219, I know is going to go back up, is giving me a hammer. Can you guys see this right here? Can you guys see this or no? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's giving me a hammer. So I know that, you know what, the float is very small. I know that this thing right here, the next thing I do is I look at the news. I see, okay, this thing is getting positive news, positive news, a lot of positive news coming in. Okay, news is good. Every time it gets a positive news, the stock goes up. The second thing I do is I look at revenue. I'm not going to look at the revenue right here. I'm going to look at another website, look at the re revenue. I'm looking for insider buyers. Do you guys see this section right here? Can you guys see this or no? Yeah. I'm seeing yes. what the directors are doing. I'm seeing what their inside people are doing. If they're dumping or they keep buying their shares, if they keep buying their shares. So I look at this right here and I say, okay, these guys keep buying their shares, right? Do you guys see this or no? Mm -hmm. So they're buying their shares. So I said, okay, very good. Their inside people are buying their shares. Are you guys writing this down or no? Yes. Okay, second, I'm going, I want you to go to this website called Doku, doku.com. You guys see this? Yes. All right. Same, same thing. We're going to type in this stock. I'm giving you guys how to swing in like two minutes. Come here. Same thing. You're seeing how much volume is it doing? How much volume is it going in 30 days? I'm going to go into an in-depth on how to swing this. I'm giving you a quick lesson because I want you to learn how to, how to swing stocks. Same thing right here. We're going to look at revenue. Their revenue sucks. Can okay, I see that or no? Can you see this? Can you see this yes. or no? Yes. Their revenue, their revenue sucks, but they have a lot of cash on their hand. They do have cash on their hand. Now I want you to see this right here. These people are buying their share so something is going on that we don't know about you see this somebody is they're buying their own shares right here they recently bought more shares this is insider institutional ownership right here so the company owns 32 percent of the shares next next thing i'm going to look for i'm going to go into their revenue once again, I need double confirmation that this stock is going to go up and I'm not going to be holding their bags. I wanna go into their earning. I'm trying to find their, what happened? Right here. I want to see positive right here. Let's go back up again. Look, I want to see how much cash they have. I want to see total assets. I want to, because you don't want to be left holding a bag. I want to see that their cash that they have is more than their liabilities. Do you guys see that or no? Can you guys yes. see this? I'm giving you a quick version of this. These are things that I'm looking at. This is how you swing a penny stocks. Right? I want to see if they have any dilutions. 
What is dilutions? That means are they going to do an offering and they're going to dump on you right here? Let's see. They do have an offering. When did they do the offering? When did they do the offering? October 20th. Okay. Now I want to see if they exercised any of their offerings. So I go into filings pro. I'm going 100 miles per hour because I want to show you guys, right? I want to show you guys how to do research on a company. If everything is new to you, that is great. I go into 10x. I want to see their recent offerings, their recent filings, because you buy it, then they dump the stock on you. Okay. The last time they did anything was on July 8, 2020. Right? Right here. So they do have active dilution. So you know what? I'm not going to go crazy buying this. Once again, I'm verifying if they have any money. So right now that I look at this, I would not buy this company. Would you buy this company or no? Would you guys buy yeah. this or no? No. Would you buy this? They don't have, so I'm seeing they have multiple offerings. So that means they're dead broke. They're dead broke. Their income sucks. Even though they're trying to hold, this is not a company that I want to hold. So, um, I see that they have 8 million. They have 8 million in cash, but their income is negative 9 million. Would you buy this? No. Exactly. So I'm showing you from chart to revenue to dilution why, how you do research on a company and go out. Even It even gets better. Since this is a... This is a, uh, what do you call it? This is a pharmaceutical. I will still buy it if they have something coming up. So right here, let's go to 10X. Again, he's gone again. Huh? Can you guys hear me or no? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So right here, right here, I want to see if they have any drugs coming up. Look, I don't, I don't see anything. Do you guys see any drugs coming up? Do you guys see any drugs coming up? Tell me right here. Do you see any drugs coming up? No news. Uh, nothing. nothing. So do you see how much due diligence that I give before I buy this company? Now, let's go in. I'm going to go to uh, Alpha. What is this? Stock Alpha. Why? What is this? Stock Alpha. Whatever. Whatever. All right, Seeking Alpha, there it is right here. Before I tell you something that I buy, this is how I do it. I go, okay, the chart is looking bullish, but everything else is not looking good. And even if you're working full time, you should be able to do this. You should be able to do this yourself. What is this? What is going on? Okay, let me go back up. I never seen this before. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm not getting anything here. Yeah, I'm not getting anything here. Forget it. So I go through all that and I see, okay, let's buy this. If not, I don't buy it. So do you understand how I swing stocks? Do you see how much effort I put in? Yes. Okay, so, so the chart, chart is looking bullish, but everything else looks bad, right? Everything else looks bad. I also see who's owning it. Remember when I gave this call for INUB? When I gave this call for INUB, I did the same thing. I went through the revenue. I went through this. And I also saw that Vanguard just bought crazy shares for this, right? This was my research, by the way, guys. I saw that Vanguard bought crazy shares of this. Then I alerted for it, right? And the Vanguard bought, recently they bought, and the next day it went up. Now, with penny stocks, I will play earnings. I gave a call for one right here, right? I gave a call for one because you know what? I saw this stock right here. It was on the 52 weeks low. How do I know it's on a 52 weeks low? Let me help you. You guys want to learn about swinging, right? Cancel. Let me show you. These are knowledge that 
you're not going to learn by one webinar. This is why you need to stay with me and learn about this. I go right here. I go into screeners. I go into all. And let me show you. 52 weeks, new low. I go into float. I want 50 million, right? And from here, I see which one is on a 52 weeks low and I have potential price under $5, which one has potential new low. Do you guys understand how much research it takes? Yeah, it, it seems like um, it, it's a lot more when you try, when you try to swing because you, you're risking it when you have to hold a company. But you should be able to do this on your own. Am I correct? Because it's your money. If I give you a call, if I say, you know what, buy Finbiz, the stock, you should understand who is this guy giving me this call and is he going to be right? You need to understand me first. You understand? Am I right or wrong? That's correct. You're right. You, if, if I'm giving you a call, bro, who am I? Who am I giving you, telling you to buy this stock? What research have I done? How much knowledge do I have? And if I give you a call, you should always question my call. I'm not here to give you a call. I want you to learn how to do this by yourself. Am I right or wrong? Because once you learn how to do this by yourself, once you see what I see, once you, you're able to trade and make money, it's a wonderful thing, right? Because you can feed your family. Am I right or wrong? Oh, yeah. You need to understand Fuhad first before you take any of my call. You also swing blue chips? Yeah, I, I, but you know, but I like day trading. I don't like swinging much. I don't have, I only have maybe two or three stocks that I swing. If you guys want to swing and stuff like that, I do give you guys call to swing. And I, I do show you guys that, hey, you know, this is going up. Since we started penny stocks, hey, this is going up. This is on a 52 weeks low. The revenues look good. I do a whole presentation for you guys. I don't just so, like yeah. to give you a call saying, hey, buy this stock called UK. I show you what I saw and I make you decide for yourself. And once you see what I see, and once you're able to see it for yourself, then you make the decision. The decision is on you. And I also show you, hey, buy the pullbacks. If you see it, I show charts, I show like their revenues. I try to give you as much information possible on what I saw and why I made the decision. And if you guys respect that, then welcome, you know? If somebody's telling you, if you're in part of a chat group, say buy UK and you buy UK and it dumps on you, then you did zero research. Do you guys understand? Do you guys respect that or no? Absolutely. Look at this. This stock hit rock bottom. <laughs> this is rock bottom right here. This is as low as it gets. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Look at the short flow. So if somebody decides to push in, the stock is going to fly. Then I look at their revenue. Then I look at everything else. I, you know, it's a, it's a comp, you know, stock from China. So I do my due diligence, you know? Can you show us an example of a blue chip that, that you do day trade? Uh, what was it? Uh, GME, I just traded. <laughs> GME, I traded. I kind of want to give you that Corsair stock and see because, uh, I mean, throughout time, you're going to be looking at all sorts of stocks, right? So if Corsair would be new to you, what would you think about that? Which course? Uh, CRSR, Corsair. CRSR? -R. Yes. It's looking bullish, right? It just took out these two candles. If I'm going by candlestick patterns, this is very bullish, right? It's making, it's making a, what do you call it? A higher lows from here. It's making higher lows. It does have resistance, right? Multiple times you try to crack $44, it couldn't. There's resistance right here. Same thing, look, it wicked out right here. Am I correct? So yes. if I'm going to take this out, wait for it to crack this line, and then I know 
the next one is going to be forty four dollars. Because look what it did. There was prior. See, previously tried to break this, went back down. It broke. It broke. Then it hit this resistance, came back down. Once again, same thing. Forty four. I know myself, I either, you know what, it's at $38, I'll just wait for it to break 44 and go back up. But if it does break this, then I know the next level is gonna be 43.92. Do you I've see that or no? one since 20. So sure. you're, yep. Um, but I, I haven't sold it yet because, well, I'm not, I'm not so sure if I wanna sell it just yet. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't I sell it. I, it. I still wouldn't sell it right here because it has great support at 32. Am I correct? Are you seeing this? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, this is a new stock. Look what it did. Look what it did. It's consolidating. Look at this. Do you see it? Yes. It went parabolic. It came back. It's right now, it's consolidating right here. It's consolidating, so it has to pick a direction. And if you know this, this is bullish engulfing right here. So we should see an uptick. So since we are right here, 3838, if it can cross this, I would take it. And we can see upside, you know? And let's see CR, I mean, CRSR. Let's see how the revenue and everything else is. CRSR. They do have money, right? You see this? They do have money. I don't like this. <laughs> On October 20th, they sold. I don't see any dilution. CS. What's the ticker again? CS. What's the ticker? CRSR. CRSR. C is in Charlie, S is in Sierra. Oh, I'm sorry. C is in Charlie, R is in Romeo, S is in Sierra, R is in Romeo. I, I spelled it right. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? They just, they're going to, I bet you didn't even know. They're getting ready to do an offering. Do you see this? That's what I was looking to earlier to uh, earlier yesterday and I was like, well, maybe I, I should mention something about this talk during this meeting. Yeah, but they're getting, so if you see this January 19, 2021, they are, they are saying that they're going to do an offering. We don't know when they're going to do an offering, but they started this. They started the process. You see this? So that means they want to raise money. So we don't know when they're going to do an offering. If they decide to do an offering, if they decide to dump this much shares into the market, it's going to be a pullback. But you don't have to worry about it because you're already, you're already in it. You know what I mean? Do you see it? Yes, sir. Look at their recent filings. You see this? They just did a recent filing that I'm sure you don't even know about. So they just secretly, they're going to dump shares on you, but their income is good. They're, they're short float, so you can make a lot of money. Market cap is huge, but the float is small. So you can go and they have cash on their hand. Yeah, it's a good company. Right? So I wouldn't, if you're already in it, I wouldn't sell. If they do an offering, just, just write it out. And if you want to buy, just buy, buy the pullback. What do you think? You there? I'm thinking how to respond i'm not sure how to respond but yes I'm no, not I, I want your opinion that. like crsr this is i want you to think so if they if they want to do an offering they should push the price back up to like 50 dollars, then dump shares that's what i would do because if they started doing an offering and look it's about to go up so no one knew it started going up i think they're going to push this back up to either 44 or 50 dollars, then they're going to dump shares I was drawing some lines in Webull, and I think they 
Well, I'm not pro by any means, but I think they can go as much as $76 a share. They can. Uh -huh. They can, right? There's. This is a new company. They can. You don't know. I mean... We know as of right now, the top is right here. As of right now, $51 is a big resistance because it's tried to break it. It took a dump. Am I correct? Yes. It tried to go up. It took a dump. Now it tried to go back up again. It started consolidating. So if it's consolidating, it can go up. We don't know if it's going to choose a direction or not. But right now, if I'm supposed to do a trend line and see right now, you can see touches here, touches here, touches here, higher lows. It has the potential to go back up, right? And crack it. I don't know. But right now it's making higher lows. So it's showing me it's bullish. And I also have a bullish engulfing candle on the daily. So they might make the price go back up and do an offering and then they dump on you. There's also resistance right here. So if we can go over, if we can go over, so look, it's making a triangle right now. You see it? So this is what I look, see if we can come out of this and break this. Right now we have a nice, it's into a triangle from the resistance. So let's see if we can break it. If they start dumping shares, then it's, it's going to break. But right now we have a nice ascending tri triangle. Do you see it? Yes. I don't want to get into, I don't want to talk about triangles right now because I haven't mentioned it. I haven't gone over it. I went over it two weeks ago. I mentioned it, I didn't touch on it, but right now it's on an uptrend and it's on a triangle. So it should pick, it should pick the same direction and try to go back up. It should. I don't know if he's going to do it. But it clearly held this level right here. It gave you a bullish candle. So let me know tomorrow if the price goes up. It's supposed to. How often do you guys uh, hold these type of meetings? Is it weekly, monthly? I've been doing this weekly and I've been doing one-on-ones. If anybody's bored, if you want to message me, I have done one-on-ones. I will do one-on-one with you. I just, right before this, I just did a one-on-one -on -one with Kelvin. Are you there? Is one on one an extra cost? No, bro. I do. I do one on ones. If I, if I have time, I'll do one on ones with you. If I'm all yours. It's, it's very helpful, and you can ask any question you personally have. I did it today earlier, and I and like being in this meeting right now, it's way easier to understand. Like, if I didn't do the one on one earlier, I might be like, I, like it would have been way harder to understand this whole meeting. But just for the simple fact that I had a one-on-one, -on -one, I was able to ask a lot of questions. Like, I didn't even know what a WIC was prior to this meeting, prior to my one-on-one. -on -one, and now I feel like I'm way miles ahead of where I was. So I would highly recommend, like, doing the one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, bro, I am here to help you, and I want, I want you to make money. But in order for you to make money, I need you to understand what's going on how to trade the market. I just threw 10 million information at you that I wouldn't do, but I wanna show you how the process is and how hard it is to trade. This is not an easy process by any means. This trading is one of the hardest thing you will ever do. But if you can figure it out, if you can find a niche, if you find something working for you, you'll make a lot of money. If the other chat rooms are telling you that you're going to get rich, I'm not here to tell you that this is hard work. You understand? Yes, sir. Look at this. It's on a triangle right now. Look, right now it's on a triangle. It has to pick a direction soon. Either it has to go higher or it has to go down. I was drawing mine not with triangles, but with the uh, Fibonacci. Yeah. But... I'm seeing a triangle. So we're going to come back to this next week. It has to break. Either it has to, it has to break this week. It has to choose a direction because you know what? It's getting tighter. The triangle is getting tighter. So if they decide to do an offering, they should make the price go back up, then dump. If not, they'll dump and it will break. And I spoke about triangles on the last webinar. Am I correct? If anybody here from the last webinar, 
I don't know. There's somebody, there's people here from the last webinar. You understand, brother? Are you there? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm here. I'm just listening. Uh -huh. All right. So if you ever, if you ever want to do one-on-one, -on -one, if you ever want to do it, if, if I'm not, if I'm free, I'll go over it with you. Whatever question you have, whatever's bothering you, if you want me to go over a trade with you, I'll be more than happy to learn from you and you can learn from me. I will never say no to learning. Do you mind if we discuss the um, the purchasing process real quick? So, I have, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm set on doing this right now, but as far as like one week, uh, if y'all want to add one week uh, ahead or one week, to the uh, due date, like let's say from, you know, if you if I buy like six months, if you all want to add the one week, that's fine. If you all want to- uh, Reagan, you here? After. I don't know if Reagan, I want yeah. you to message, yeah. I want you to message Reagan because I don't get into pricing, <laughs> you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, it's already in, in discussion with DT. Uh, I'm gonna put it up probably tonight or tomorrow. You will see both, you know, quarterly, um half yearly and a full year so you can look into that um to later today or tomorrow because i think dt is working on the charts so look into the charts you know as well um those will come up and i'll update the website and you could go from there but feel free to message me i'll ping me just to give me a reminder hey you know is that up yet so i i could you know push it out because uh dt is usually busy on saturday sunday putting out the charts for you guys so it should be up no more than tomorrow, the pricing of the uh, the longer and the shorter term, so. We put a lot of work into this. We have a lot of tools on that Discord that gives you for day trading, swing trading. There's a lot of ideas. You can reach out, you know, we are listen, man, I, I, whatever help I can give you, whatever knowledge I, I can- I really like the bot options. That is like super awesome to have. Bro, it's there for you, right? It literally alerts you. We also have price action alert where it shows you whatever's moving. And it gives you by count what is going on with that. So the higher the count, that means it's going up. So it gives you chance to get in. Yeah, I'm gonna hold- You mentioned there is a new indicator in the people uh, for buying and selling things, something like that. So it's called super trend. Right, so Weeble has super trend that it shows you for new people buying and selling. But I don't want, if you spend enough time with me, you're going to learn how to enter exits and you're gonna know where to exit, where to enter. If you give me two to three weeks, if you show up on my webinar, mm -hmm. I want you to get away from indicators. I want you to get away from, from everything. I want you to be a self-sufficient trader. And I know it's nearly impossible. You don't have to believe me. Just give it some time. And I'm going to show you that, you know what? You don't need anything just other than candlesticks and price action. Believe me when I tell you this. This right here, it shows you, it speaks to you. This is like A, B, C, D. Once you understand support resistance, and once you understand candlestick, you don't need any indicators. I'm trying to make you a better trader and it's gonna be a slow, stressful process, but you will learn. I guarantee you will learn. If you see a stock with a good support, uh, basically everything shows bullish, but <laughs> the news just doesn't come out well. Is this something of a big concern or do you continue with the stock? So, so if you, if, so the news we do not control. I cannot control what somebody's gonna say about this stock tomorrow, right? Those are unforeseen event, but if you got in at an earlier price, you should still hold because you know what? People only remember the news for one day, one or two days, then they go back, life goes back to normal. News is temporary. Unless you're trading bio, bio, bio stock and you know what, they have a freaking trial, like a phase two trial and like 10 people died from it. Then I would get out of that stock because I can assure you it's going to dump on you. I can but think of one example is uh, the code diagnostics codex. 
Yes. Although there are, it doesn't matter what the news are. I mean, those guys have been in business for God knows how long. Exactly. And, and uh, if you want to get a job, you're going to get a screen, screening. And code diagnostics yep. is like one of the first places that any job will send you. And yep. with this whole COVID, my simple thought process is that, well, you're going to go get tested. <laughs> yep. So I want you to see this. I haven't traded Kodak in like six months, right? These are lines that I drew from like six months ago and is still respecting, is still respecting these lines. Is still respecting these lines. Do you see it or no? No. No, just your picture. Uh, where's my screen? What am I doing? Why am I not sharing? What happened? Reagan? <laughs> Sorry, I think I confused the hell out of you. <laughs> no, it's here. It's here. You, sh you should be able to share. Oh, okay. I want. So all this time, well, you guys didn't see the charts at all. So look, so I haven't traded Kodak in God knows how long, right? But look at this. These are my lines from like three months ago, six months ago. I want you to see it, how it comes back and it holds. So once you, this is what I want you guys to understand that this is a learning process. You're, this is not a get rich quick scam. This is a learning process. For people that like alerts, we give you alerts. People that want to swing, I do the research for you and I put it in. But I need you to understand how I do my research before you take a call because I feel bad if you lose money. You understand? I, guys, I need you guys to understand how much knowledge I have. I need you to know me first. Do you guys get me? Yep. This is a relationship. This is not just giving you calls and trying to make money out of you. Same thing. You should be able to see trends, break trends, tries to go up, higher lows, stock goes up. I need, this is something that, you know what, is a slow learning process. And I have been doing this, taking time every, every week. I've been constantly doing webinars trying to teach you guys. And if you could learn one thing, just one thing today, I, I feel happy. You understand? You guys with me? I don't know which other Discord is going to help you this much every week, trying to make you into a better trader. Sorry, I have OCD, so when I see something, I have to do it. You know, so I hope this helps, man, you know? Are we good? Are you guys there? Yep, yes. love, your, love your webinar every week, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. All right, man. Yes, yeah, so I think we are at top of the hour. Um, I'm going to put this on YouTube as well and share the link with you guys and look out for the, the annual subscription and all that other stuff is coming up. Should be up within the next, you know, few hours or so. All right. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I will have, listen, I will have some time after like seven o'clock. If you want to do a one-on-one -on -one with me, just shoot me a message saying, hey, I have some questions. All right. All right, guys. Enjoy. Right. Thank yep. you. Hey, uh, close out the meeting for everyone, please. Fun. Yep.